That should not happen. We get to go on an adventure. Alright, so this is my very exciting attic, and as you can tell, there ain't a ton of room, and so today we need to go all the way down to the far end, which I can't get through to it from this side because I can't fit over all that stuff and over all the ducts. It's hard enough working on the uh, bathroom vent, let alone down there. So I'm going to go around and then we'll take a look. Alright, so that over there is the Lossnay ventilation unit, whilst this is the actual air conditioner itself. Now this guy, thankfully I don't need to do anything with it. You get through here, and I need to go basically right where I'm putting the torch, which doesn't look that navigable, so let's see how we go. So I've got to be careful not to rest on this. This is my drainage system for the air conditioners, and if I break this, I'll get a leak in my attic, which will not be fun. Hey, might as well make the water tank come to some use. I really hope that was the internal attic. I just put my knee in. A duck. What a bitch of a job. <sighs> Fortunately, at least most of my ceiling is solid timber, so there's a risk I could crack the jib from like vibration and impact, but it does tend to mean that below all the fluff there is something solid. Problem is, I can't guarantee that's always the case. So, why are we doing this fun fucking task? This guy. This is my intake vent for the Losne, which has collapsed over the years, and so probably not working fully anyway, but certainly if we don't address it long term, it's going to become a big problem. So I'm going to put my mask on, because it could be a ton of dust that comes out of this. We'll take it off, and uh, try and install the new one I brought up. Alright, so, got the old duct out, and I'm hoping like hell this is a 150, because that's what I brought. I've not used this stuff before, this is semi-rigid. So, the stuff I just pulled off, this is basically an aluminium foil fucking tube with some ribs on it. It's not really good quality. It's worth in this stuff, this stuff is at least a insulated flexi duct. Um, but this is semi-rigid. And so you've got the benefit of rigidity because this being an air intake, I really, really want rigidity. This flutter here is a real pain to try and screw up because it's a flathead and the screwdriver keeps falling out. But I really want to get it on because it tightens the clamp of the tube. There we go, all clamped up and taped. Let's turn it on and make sure it works. So 
So, one good thing is, I can do a heat pump on from here. So, we'll just put it on heat. Fuck it. Here, the fan's turning on. Yep, ducks are inflating. Very quiet system. Yeah, it's coming through. I can hear it vibrating on the tube. But I can't hear anything. So even without any insulation, it's still quiet, which is good. I was worried I was going to have to insulate this to control noise, but it's quite a low power unit. I mean, this is not the main AC. This is just the lost nave for doing ventilation and heat recovery. Um, whilst you're up here too, these are the filters for the lost nave. You can unclip and pull them out if you ever need to check them. I do it every 12 months or so. Alright, I can call that a win. Seems pretty sturdy. The main problem now is how to get back out of here. This is what we get through now. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to fit through that? And I can't break that, and I can't split these guys. And It'll be fun, they said. Why pay for Jim and Goga? Make sure I'm not damaged this guy. So I don't know why it floats, whether this is just laziness or <coughs> maybe trading genius where it floats so that it can handle some level of movement. I don't know. Oh, by the way, this fun stuff. This might be asbestos, we're not totally sure. So, general advice, if you see this shit, don't fuck with it. All right, there's our ducks back there looking good. One little dent on the side, but pretty happy with it. Stuck taped, bolted, it should be good to go for a long, long life. Or at least I fucking hope so, because if it doesn't survive and I have to come up here again, I will be relatively unhappy with my life. All right, let's pull out. This is the other great fun. There's always conduits, old pipes, old cables. Most of the stuff's hard. Most of the stuff's dead, like these old conduits are the old electrical. And obviously it's been replaced with new electrical and they're rewired. But all these metal pipes is great fun. Um, I think we're good. Hope the insulation it's gotten a bit disturbed. I'm trying to actually keep some heat in the house. Alrighty, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh man, I hate I hate working in the attic. Just feel like crap. Ugh. Here's some fresh air. So if you see those mushroom vents on the roof. Those little mushroom guys, those are the intakes and extakes. So the one closest to us, that's the intake we were just connecting onto. Now, that weird angle that's worked in that way um, seems fine, but yeah, in case you're wondering. They're pretty shit vents, to be honest. They're pretty cheaply made, but they're really expensive, like frankly everything in New Zealand is. The crazy thing is, the cheap tubing that we ripped out that failed after five years is $22. That new duct I brought the flexi duct was $44 delivered off Trade Me, which is like our eBay, so not even wholesale price. Um, so it's kind of like, why would you, for the sake of what's maybe 10 bucks wholesale, put such a shit tube in for an intake? I don't know. But trades here tend to be pretty cheap scale on a lot of materials. Um, 
And the sad thing is, if I put in the rigid from day one, it wouldn't have collapsed. We wouldn't be doing this, and it would probably live for full 15 year lifespan. So, yeah, I guess it'd be old argument, right? Do it once, do it right, comes into play. Hopefully, I've now done it right, but time will tell, I guess. Anyway, I probably need to go to shower. Alright, let's hope you stay dry now.